Hello, if you're applying for a partner visa for Australia, you might be wondering how much it's going to cost. It's a common question. I received an inquiry this week that asked exactly that. The inquiry said, what is the total cost for my fiance to become an Australian citizen? For the sake of this exercise, we're going to assume that this hypothetical fiancé is currently not in Australia and does not have an Australian visa. So there's a fair few steps to eventually becoming an Australian citizen and we're going to take a look at the cost. My name is Joanna, I'm a registered migration agent and I'm here to help you and your spouse or partner live your happy and secure future together in Australia. Whether you're applying yourself or looking to reduce stress and time and engage our expert services to assist with your application on your behalf, we've got a range of resources that are designed to help. So check out the resources linked in the description and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date. Now, if you're applying for a partner visa for Australia, let's break it down and look at the typical costs. The reality is that while love may be free, an application for a partner visa for Australia is not. So let's break down the current costs as of January 2024. And if you're watching the short video, click on the link to skip to the long video and the detailed version. Now I'm recording this video in January 2024. The Home Affairs partner visa application fee is currently $8,850. These fees are set by the Australian Department of Home Affairs. They're one of the parts of a partner visa application that are outside of our control. It's expensive, but it is what it is. If you're applying for a prospective marriage visa, that application fee is also currently $8,850, but if you're a prospective marriage visa holder, your partner visa application fee, once you're eligible, is $1,475. Now, these fees are subject to change. They can change at times like the new financial year. They can change if the Australian government decides that they will change. Australian government decisions about fee changes are impacted by factors like the recovery cost of running the partner visa application program and also by things like inflation. If you're an Australian citizen, and you have opinions about the cost of the Australian partner visa application fees, your local federal member of parliament would be a good person to talk to. Home Affairs is a federal government department and it's your federal member of parliament who's your representative voice to federal parliament. Call their office and talk to them. Their job is to represent their constituents. We've talked about the partner visa application fee and the prospective marriage visa application fee. When you submit your permanent processing paperwork, there's no additional application fee for the processing of the permanent stage of the application. So that's some good news. Now those are the main application fees. But what other costs are you likely to encounter? Please keep in mind this is a general list of the typical kinds of costs. It's not actually possible to break them down in a generic way that will apply to every single visa applicant. But let's have a look. So another big cost is children. If you're including children in your partner visa application, there's additional separate application fees for them. Budget for this cost in addition to the cost of the main applicant if you're including children in the application. Another one is the card payment surcharge. All card payments processed through the Home Affairs website incur a card payment surcharge, which is currently 1.4% of the cost of the transaction. Another cost is health checks. When you apply for a partner visa, you're applying for Australian permanent residency. All applicants for Australian permanent residency visas are required to undergo health checks. So that's an additional cost to take into account. Then there's police checks. Depending on the countries that you require police checks from, there'll be costs for applying for the police checks. Biometrics is another one. Depending on where you are and when you apply and your previous travel history, you may need to get your biometrics done. 
and then there's translations. Translators charge fees for translations. So if you're including documents that need to be translated, that will be an additional cost. It will depend on where you're getting them done, who's doing them for you, and how many documents you need to get translated. Another fee to think about or cost to think about is visitor visa costs. Depending on your plan for lodging the application, you may also apply for a visitor visa either before your application or while you're waiting. So that's another additional cost. And there's migration agent fees. If you use a, mi a registered migration agent or a lawyer to assist with your application, that's an additional cost. Our clients tell us that using our services as registered migration agents significantly increases their confidence through the process and reduces the stress of their application. It streamlines the process. So for people with busy lives, there is a significant time factor reduction by having us assist. Whether you're looking to lodge your application yourself or wanting to engage our full service assistance, we have a range of resources to help you achieve your happy and secure future together in Australia. Like and subscribe, check out the links in the description for other information about the services we offer. Now, after all this, let's circle back to the original question I was asked this week about the cost of someone becoming an Australian citizen. Creating a plan for preparing and lodging a partner visa application and a prospective marriage visa application, if it's required, is one of the ways we assist our clients. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Once a person has their temporary partner visa, we often help with permanent processing. Then, down the track, we help with citizenship. Australian citizenship is a separate application with separate requirements. Currently, the cost of an Australian citizenship application through general eligibility is $540. There are a range of fee concessions and circumstances in which different costs apply. Then there's also some of the additional costs, which we also ta already talked about in this video, like police clearances and translations. What is the price of love? The reality is that the price of love is significantly more expensive if the cost includes an application for a partner visa for Australia. Why does it cost so much? There are all sorts of reasons. If you're watching the short video, click on the link to visit the long video to find out more. The visa system costs money to run and in this user pays world that we live in, the cost of the system directly impacts the cost of the applications. The reality is that the potential for human exploitation, which is inherent within moving people across borders, means the application process has to be rigorous. There's also the potential for people to be gaming the system, which means, again, that the application process has to be rigorous and rigorous equals costly to run. At the end of the day, the thing to remember is that when you apply for an Australian partner visa, you're applying for Australian permanent residency and when you're an Australian permanent resident, once you meet the eligibility requirements, you can apply to become an Australian citizen. The stakes are astronomically high and Australia is a beautiful country in which to build your future together as a couple. Good luck with your application. Please remember, this is general information only. Remember also that these costs are accurate as of January 2024. And of course, for individual advice that relates to your unique circumstances, please use the link in the bio to schedule a call to get started. All the best for your application for a partner visa for Australia.